Okay, so we're going to look at some tolerance calculations. So workers in a showroom generally make 1,200 uh, pounds, plus or minus 250 worth of sales in a day. The following list of sales that workers made, and then we've got you know a couple of numbers there. And we're asking how many workers are there within the general amount. Okay, so we've got this tolerance. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the maximum and the minimum. So the minimum is going to be 1,200 take away 250. So that's going to be 950 pounds. The maximum, okay, is going to be 1,200 plus 250. So it's going to be 1,450 pounds. We're trying to find how many workers are within the general amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out if any are below the minimum or above the maximum. So what I do is I go through, I go through it twice. And so in the first run, I'm looking for any numbers that are below 950 pounds. Okay, because if I try and do it one go, I, I tend to find that the people make mistakes when they're doing that. So I'm going to go through the list and check if any numbers are below 950 pounds. So the first one isn't, the second one is. So I'm going to cross that off. The next one's okay. Okay, okay. Then the next one isn't. So it gets taken off. And then the last two are fine. On my second run, I then go through and find any that are above 1,450. So that's fine. First one's fine. Next one's fine. Next one's fine. And then it's the, the that one there. So that each crossed off. And then the rest, again, are fine. So this is how many workers are within the general amount? Five workers. Okay, is your answer. Part B for this question. Um, it says a worker sells more than the maximum they get 50% of the surplus. So how much money will the company give out um, in this way? So we're gonna look at the maximum again. I'm just gonna write that out. And it's 1,450. So I'm looking for any numbers that are above this. And remember when we did it before, we only crossed off one number and it was this number here. So it says a worker that sells more than the maximum, which they've done, gets 50% of the surplus. So surplus is what is past that. So I'm going to take 1,580. I'm going to take away 1,450. And that's going to tell me what the surplus is. So the surplus is 130 pounds. This worker is going to get to keep 50% of that. So 50% of 130 is 65 pounds so that's the amount of money that the the company is going to give out example number two the weight of containers is 45 kilograms plus or minus 3.5 calculate the minimum weight of the of 80 containers so what we're going to have to do is work out what the lowest weight that these containers could have um some scientists are going to tell me that it needs to be mass um, so apologies if you're a, like you do physics or, or anything. Um, so it should be a minimum mass, really. Um, 45 kilograms plus or minus 3.5. So I'm going to find the minimum. So it's 45 minus 3.5, which is 41.5. So 41.5 kilograms is the minimum weight of a container. But we want the minimum weight of 80 containers. So I'll do 41.5. I want 80 of them. So I just times it by 80. That gives me 3,320 kilograms. A flower bed in a garden is the shape of a triangle and it's measured using a instrument with a degree of actually of plus or minus 4%. The dimensions are blue, find the maximum area of the garden, okay? So we're working with this degree of accuracy of plus or minus 4%. So what I'm going to do is find 4% of each side of the garden first. So 4% of 4.2. So remember to do this is to, to divide by 100 and times by 4. Okay, we're just going to do it with a calculator. Um, and that gives me 0 0.168. Okay, so... I'm going to add on that to my, my original amount, so it's 4.2 plus 0.168, which is 4.368.
I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to do 4% of 3, which is 0 0.12. I'm then going to add it on. I've just realized what I've done before. So 3 plus. So 3 plus 0 0.12 is 3.12. And I'm trying to find the area. So an area of a triangle, remember, is a half times the base times the height. So it's a half times, uh, so I'm going to do 0 0.5 times the base, which is 3.12, times the height, which is 4.368, which gives me an area of 6.81 metres squared.